Okay, so you're playing through Super Mario 64, you're on your very first level called Bomb on Battlefield, and you get to the fifth star and realize you don't have the wing cap. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to unlock the wing cap, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil back with another exciting tips and tricks video for Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo Switch. And if you're new here and you love Nintendo games, then be sure to hit the like button on this video. Now, the first thing that you have to keep in mind is you have to have enough power stars in order to gain access to the wing cap secret level. So here's the fastest way to get there. You're going to go into Bomb on Battlefield and you get all the stars that you can get on that particular level. That should give you at least five stars. And then once you get to the wings cap level, you can actually skip over that one and go for the sixth star on that level. And it's called Behind Chain Chomp's Gate. And all you have to do there is run over to the gigantic Chain Chomp, do a butt stomp on the little post that he's tied to, and he will smash the gate that's behind him to reveal the star. So that should put you up to five total power stars. And then the sixth star is going to be grabbing 100 coins now, if you want to see a full step-by-step -step walkthrough on Bomb on Battlefield and how to collect all the stars from that level, then be sure to check out that video after this one, and I'll put a little card in the top right-hand corner. Oh, and don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video because I've got a little bonus tip that will show you how to beat the Wings to the Sky level without the wing cap. Okay, so now the next thing that I would recommend that you do is go back to the lobby area, head upstairs and to the right, and you'll find behind that door, Peach's Slide. And in here, you can actually grab two power stars. You'll get one for completing the level, and then you'll get another one for completing the level in under 20.9 seconds. Once you've been able to grab those two power stars, now we're going to head back to the lobby once again, make another right once you're downstairs, and head over to the Jolly Roger Bay door. And inside of this little area where Jolly Roger Bay is, if you turn right and look up, you'll see a secret entrance for a secret star level. And what you'll do here is you'll swim around and you'll grab eight red coins, and that will give you another castle secret star. And then the next star is actually over in Cool Cool Mountain. So go back to the lobby, go down to the bottom floor, and it's over on the left. And it's actually the very first level of Cool Cool Mountain. And all you have to do is slide all the way down the slippery slide, and then once you get to the bottom, you'll have a power star waiting for you. It's a super easy star to get. So now that means you should have gotten six stars from Bomb on Battlefield. You've gotten two more from Peach's Slide. You've gotten another from Jolly Roger's base secret level. And then you got the super easy star from Cool Cool Mountain on its very first level. Now, once you go back into the lobby area, you'll notice that there's lights shining in the middle of the floor. And all you have to do is control your camera and look up and it will teleport you into the wing cap level. Now once you're inside of the wing cap level, you have a couple of options. You can fly around and collect 8 red coins for an extra castle secret star, or you can fly straight down and get the wing cap switch. Once you step on the switch, it'll fill in all of the red blocks throughout the entire game, and anytime you see a red block, you'll get a wing cap. Now as a bonus tip, and I wanted to add this for any of those that want a little bit of a challenge, and that is to actually complete the Wings to the Sky level without the wing cap. Now you basically need to load Mario in the cannon on top of the little floating island and shoot him through the five circle of coins, basically doing the same exact thing as if you had the wing cap, except you're going to have to launch him three, four, maybe five times until you get Mario to fly through the center of all five rings of coins. Now, it is a little bit more of a manual process, but you can knock this out within about five minutes of work. It doesn't really take that much time at all. And the benefit of doing this is that you don't actually have to come back to the level later after you've gotten the wing cap. And now that you know how to unlock the wing cap, and now that you know how to beat the wings to the sky without the wing cap, then be sure to check out my playlist on a 100% walkthrough of Super Mario 64, and I'll see you there. And guys, if you found this video super helpful, then be sure to hit the like button, and if you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe.